So today I want to talk about this tripod from KNF Concept and it's the uh, SA254T1 tripod and it's a, it's a very very tall tripod which is perfect for uh, shooting in rivers. Now in my last vlog I did, I demonstrated, well I, I didn't show you obviously, but um, there was a shot that I wanted here, but to get the shot I had to get into the middle, so I uh, got on the rock at the centre here. Now at the side of me, uh, the uh, river was about four or five feet deep. Now with this tripod it allowed me to spread the legs, put them in the river, and uh, get a steady shot from that rock of these uh, cascades coming forward so uh, that was just a perfect uh, demonstration of uh, how useful this tripod is right so what I want to do is get onto this rock here which I was on the last vlog <laughs> oh. Oh, things I do for you lot. Anyway, <laughs> right. I wanted last week a shot of these uh, cascades coming down here. And what I did was I pulled the leg out on this tripod right out till I got um, a good grip down the bottom there. And the same on this side. And that's pretty uh, tough. So what that did was allow me to get a head-on shot of these cascades um, like this. So I just wanted to show you um, the benefits of having a long tripod over here. This rock's really wet, so, uh, so yeah. I had it a bit lower than this, obviously, but that's tough. Um, I was able to uh, put the camera on here and uh, get this image I'll put up for you now from being in this position. So here we go, <laughs> that is the actual height of the tripod, um, you've got four sections on the leg, you've got this middle part here and the top part here which goes all the way to the top here. You, could always, you can always change that as well and uh, you could put a camera and sort of look down on something uh, which is very useful indeed. So yeah, that's a really tall tripod uh, and it can be used for many things uh, really like I've just shown getting into rivers, being able to put the tripod where with a normal tripod you won't be able to do and uh, help you get the shots really. Um, so yeah, I like this tripod and I think I'll be using it all the time now when I'm going to do any river or any cascade shots. Uh, which is pretty cool uh, it's also you can take this section off here and uh, use it as a uh, monopod so yeah um, very it's also a good price um, if you want to buy it now if you're interested in a uh, tripod like this um, I'll leave a link below if you go from the website uh, I can get you a discount of 10% or either a 5% discount off Amazon. So uh, yeah, this is the long, tall Sally. That's what I'm gonna call her. Tripod, which is very useful. Now, um, just to finish off this vlog, uh, I'm gonna try and get another composition here in the river. I really do love this uh, white water down here. There's a uh, 
beautiful cascades on that side a lot of rushing water unfortunately it's about four foot deep in the middle there which I can't get to um, but saying that I could possibly get over here um, which you've got a lot of nice water coming in down here so I'm thinking I could go low here with a tripod and uh, get that swirling white water just coming towards me and uh, right in the distance there you've got this tree that sticks out on the frame and this nice top of the mountain um, in the background and uh, you've got plenty of cloud and a bit of blue coming through so I've got that in mind actually I'm gonna go in there because I got my wellies on today I'm able to go pretty low here and uh, pull a shot out of this um, yeah I think I'm gonna go horizontal with this and uh, I am actually thinking of a one-to-one -one crop on this I'll just get a bit of comfy that's it how oh, I like it right now the tree is not where I want it to be that's kind of a very good rhyme that one it okay I'm gonna take one from here do you know that actually looks pretty good with this tree on the right of the frame there that looks very very good yeah I'm actually liking this um, a lot it's working really well because I got that water really coming towards the camera um, I've got that tree on the rough right there that just really fills the frame nicely uh, I'm just gonna focus on there and I'm gonna get f16 on this I want a good dynamic range from here right to the back there um, ISO 100 what's that giving me okay I'm gonna bracket this So I always underexpose uh, when bracketing because I try that I try and avoid anything being blown out in the image. Yeah, so I think uh, I've got the shot there. Like I said, I've gone vertical, uh, given enough head head space and you know top and bottom so I can crop in. So what I've got in the crop. I've got this river really coming towards me, the flow of the river, which should expand uh, right out into the uh, frame in the foreground. Great group of rocks here in between and that tree just sticking out over there. And right in the distance, you've got some nice cloud, the top of a mountain, blue sky, mwah, makes a beautiful image. And I'll put it up now. Right, so what I've got here, on the left of the frame here, I've got this boulder. On the right here, I've got the other boulder. Now you've got all these flowing cascades, really white, looks lovely. Coming through the gap here and coming towards the uh, screen over there. Now, in the background, I've got this mountain going up on the top of the right frame. And I've got some nice moody cloud with a bit of blue breaking through on the left over here. So I'm going to take one shot horizontal and uh, I'm going to try one vertical too because uh, I'd like to get that peak in it and uh, 
the cascades at the bottom here. Right, so I've come up along the river over here, uh, just from the bottom over there. I noticed this tree sticking out on the side of the rock and uh, wanting to come a bit up river just to check it out. And I've come to this point over here. Uh, I'd love to get to that side, but I can't because it's a bit too deep. Um, but I think I've got a good position over here. Um, got some nice rocks in the foreground. I got this tree leading in on the left and on the right of the frame you've got that tree sticking out of the rock and right in the background we've got a slab going up there and uh, some nice cascades coming down the bottom over there so uh, I'm quickly going to get a shot of this because uh, it looks great So that's a uh, quick vlog, um, just to demonstrate this uh, tripod that KNF sent me. Uh, a really useful tripod, especially for rivers. Um, if you're into photographing rivers and cascades, I definitely recommend this uh, tripod. Get your wellies on, take that tripod, and uh, you can just extend that into the river, which is about four or five foot, and uh, get them shots you couldn't get with the uh, normal tripod. So like I said before, I'll leave the uh, links below if you're interested with a uh, 10%, 5% off uh, the price. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this little vlog and uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.